So brand design, as important as it ever was, more important? I think it's, I'm not sure if it's more important, but I think it's, it's undervalued, but I think it's undervalued in, in, in two ways. I think, I still believe that a chunk of a brand is about the culture. And strangely for a designer, the culture of it um, will last longer. Mm -hmm. Because I feel as if the personality, the attitude, the warmth, you can come in contact with a company, you think, that's warm, that's a little bit cold, that's professional, that was, to, they're kind of a bit irritating, they take ages to come back. I mean, it's, I find it the same with suppliers. I've got some suppliers who you just have to keep nudging. Mm. I, keep, oh, well, I don't. And I mean, one of the things which I learned was, I, it's the simplicity of um, the, Am the Amazon experience. And what I quite like is just, they sort of said, right, thank you for your notification, thank you for that, we acknowledge this, and it will go out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You get acknowledgement, it's gone out. Acknowledgement, it's been delivered. And I think for clients, it's a case of they've got so many different things going on and you just want that passage of the work has been done and it's delivered. You're trying to make it as easy as possible. Yeah. And I quite like that sort of, you, I don't, I feel as if I failed if they call up or email saying, yeah. when's this, when's that? Mm. Because... So you, you like to be ordered and let people know where you are ahead. each. Yeah. yeah. So a designer isn't just sort of doing a nice little, you have to be organised. Yeah. And I think um, it's always the, the when you listen to different stories from different clients, it's a case of their experience, you can say, oh, they're really good. Why were they very good? And then it's because they responded, they come back. Mm. And designers as a whole hasn't always had the best reputation for um organizational skills right um i mean one of my favorite stories was um is the i mean, you know from um, peter savile mm -hmm. the guy um factory records and did all of um the most beautiful pieces of work in from record sleeves to working with england football to uh, many other things but he has was notorious for just being late. Mm. He would produce fantastic stuff, but it'd be late. Mm -hmm. So when the Hacienda Club, in, when it was sort of mid-late 80s, they had, sort of, right, we need some flyers to get them around the city mm -hmm. and everything else. The night of the launch, it was all started, and he came in and said, here's the flyers. <laughs> <laughs> Our job is, is much more than just we're designing. We're trying to create something which is really, it's unique for the client, it works, but it's got to be there on time. Yeah. Or else what's the point? 